the one page business plan. If your, if your mission statement is much longer than this sentence, it could be too long. Plans are only good intentions unless they immediately degenerate into the hard work. Peter F. Drucker. Jane Andrian and Omar Nori graduated from the Columbus, Ohio College of Art and Design in 2008. They both began freelance freelancing as designers in addition to Jane teaching at their alma mater, alma major, and uh, Omar taking a design job at the studio in town. Based in the tiny apartment, they were making ends meet and working jobs re related to their degrees. But just one year after the after the graduation, they feel the feeling of the uh, burnout from the world of commercial design was inescapable. Should I have uh, gone to the med school? Jane wondered. What if uh, what if accounting would have been a better fit? It was uh, strange to be uh, feeling this way only a year into our careers. On a drive back from uh, Chicago, they talked about other things. An upcoming trip to New York and a plan that they hoped would lead to the other travels. Mm. When they got home, Omar looked around for a nice map, a nice map to help chart their upcoming adventures. Long story short, they couldn't find one that they loved. So, they decided to make their own. They stayed up late at night work, wa working on their ideal map while, take, while talking about all the places they hoped to visit. Wow. When they finished the, the design, there was just one problem. The printer they wanted to use had a minimum order of 50 units for a cost of 500 US dollar. It was a lot. It was a lot. Of, it was a lot to spend when they only needed one map. But the project had come to mean more than just a print. So Jane and Omar each put down the 250 US dollar. They loved the finance. Uh, the, they loved the final result and hung, hung one of the maps on the wall leaving 49 maps with no obvious purpose they gave a few out to they gave a few out to her friends do, 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 and still had 44 finally omar asked a crazy question would anyone want to buy the re the remaining prints they made a one page website added a paper bottom and went to bed the morning after making their work available for the purchase, they woke up to their first, first sale. Then they made another sale and then another. Thanks to a surprise mention on a popular design forum, they sold out their, uh, they sold out of their first print run in, in 10 minutes and had tons of messages beginning for a, a reprint. Could this be the answer to the de designer burnout? Hmm. Over the next few months, Jen and Omar introduced more styles and acted on new ideas. A New York City subway, subway map, for example, and a neighborhood-themed uh, map of San Francisco. The plan was to grow steadily but not introduce new products without a varied reason. Right. As good designers, they understood that everything in the store had to be essential. They also understood that although some customers would make more than one purchase, the, the best way the customer could help was by referring other buyers and fans, right? Nine months in, both of them had quit, 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 quit their day jobs to work full-time on the business. This project has totally restored our passion for design, says Omar. It feels so liberating to have a creative control. It's been an incredible opportunity for us to grow as designers. I feel like our work has progressed more in the past, past year than it, ha it ever has. Right. Wow. Jane and Omar began with an idea, kept cost low, and didn't wait long before stepping forward with a product. 
Then they ad adopted to the marketplace response, make more maps, and build each new product carefully. It's funny because we are both ob obsess obsessive planners, Jen, Jen told me. But this project had uh, almost no planning whatsoever in whatsoever in the beginning, and now it's our full-time work.